Hi everyone, I'm Morgan here. So with the fear of a uh, nuclear war, uh, potassium iodide has been being bought up. Now we've always had the Iosat tablets, um, but I did get a hold of the liquid form as well because, um, you know, my kids, they're not going to take tablets. And I got those tablets, you know, before kids, which they're probably expired by now. I think they have a five year shelf life. Um, you know, again, I don't want to have the argument about shelf life or expirations on pills or anything like that. It could be good. It could be not. I'm just saying a shelf life for IOSAT tablets is usually around five years. Okay. So for, uh, I got the liquids brand new. I was able to find them on walmart.com for two ounces each for about $6, but they are being snatched up. But you may be wondering what is potassium iodide and why would I even need it in case of, you know, nuclear war? Your thyroid gland uses iodide to produce hormones that help you to regulate your mood, memory, weight, energy levels, and mental clarity. So the body doesn't produce iodine, so it's an important part of your general diet. Okay, a lot of people take a potassium iodide just as a normal supplement, right? Potassium iodide can prevent your thyroid gland from absorbing harmful radioactive iodine, right? It does not keep radioactive iodine from entering the body and it cannot reverse the health effects caused by radioactive iodine caused um, once the thyroid is damaged. So it has no reversal effects and it doesn't actually keep the radioactive iodine from actually entering your system. All it does is it prevents your thyroid gland from absorbing the harmful radioactive iodine. So you have to be taking it way before, right? So before fallout or whatever. Um, so basically your thyroid gland can't tell the difference between the types of iodine, right? So the radioactive iodine, the good iodine, whatever. And so if it has a sufficient potassium iodide, it won't absorb radioactive iodine. Does that make sense? So if you're taking those um, potassium iodine tablets or uh, drops or whatever, um, you're getting that good stuff and therefore it's not going to absorb that radioactive iodine. So it is protecting you in that way. Even though people do take the potassium iodide um, as like a, a normal supplement, it's only because they've been prescribed to do so because of of whatever reason, um, you know, thyroid issues or that kind of thing. Um, but if you don't have any of those issues, I really wouldn't just be kind of randomly taking it, you know, um, I would only be taking it in case, you know, there was some type of um, possible contamination in which you would need to suddenly start taking it before, you know, contaminate it. Again, it does not have any reversal effects or anything like that. So the recommended dosages are usually, i um, trying to get it exactly right. The oral liquid should be 325 milligrams. Um, an oral solution should be one gram and then an oral tablet should be 130 milligrams. So you do want to look out for those very specific um, dosages as well or try to actually get to the dosage. So like if it says one drop for 50 milligrams, then you may want to do a few drops to get up to those milligrams, that kind of thing. So how often should you take it? So that's another question. Um, take 130 milligrams orally once and repeat the dosage. Um, may be needed in the event of prolonged exposure um, since each dose can provide you up to 24 hours of protection. So if you repeat a dose, it would be within a, after that 24 hour period and only if you would really need to. And then for um, children, uh, it would be, um, I am actually reading this, so make sure I can get it right. Uh, so birth to one month, it would be 16.25 milligrams orally over one month to three years is 32.5 milligrams orally once. And then over three months to 12 years old is 65 milligrams orally once. And then over 12 years and then weight is less than 150 pounds, it's 65 milligrams orally once. Um, and then if you're over 12 years old with a weight of 100 over 50 pounds, it's 130 milligrams orally once. So. It's not guaranteed that you just gotta take it and take it and take it and take it. You know, just because you have like all those tablets or those drops or whatever, it doesn't mean you have to take all of them, right? It's it's the proper dosages and the milligrams and things like that. You don't wanna just be taking it all the time. So that's important to know too.
That's essentially it. I thought I would let you know a lot of people don't know about potassium iodide and why people are buying it right now and why it's so hard to find right now. And you know, what's even the point of, of having it and then when and why to take it. So I hope that this was helpful. Thank you all so much for watching Conquer Tomorrow by preparing today. I'll talk to you later. Bye.